only talked about symmetry and not talked about the algebraic process. So the, the, the test is real simple, guys. All we simply need to do is plug in f of negative x. Just like, remember how we did the evaluating last? Just plug in f of negative x. So when you plug it in, let's and then simplify it to see what we get. So this goes, simplifies to the exact same equation. Because any negative number or any negative expression raised to an even power is going to be positive. I should have done that. Right? So you guys see how this is exactly the same? And to tell you the answer, the function is even. Because let's look at our most famous even function, the quadratic. Can't distribute the square root across addition or subtraction. No, I'm saying like you put negative x squared equals x squared. So you get that negative x to x, dx to the square, so it would drop it off. Okay. What do you mean? Oh. No. What do you mean drop it off? Like you did it, so it's not negative. I mean I did negative x times negative x, which is x squared. Oh you okay. Um, so let's look at a number. Let's pick x. x is over here. Let's pretend for a fun fact x is equal to 2. Okay? Therefore, when you plug in x, you get some f of x value, right? And if we said x was 2, then our f of x value would be that this is x squared. If we say x equals 2, then f of x would be If x squared is our function, if I'm saying x is equal to 2, f of 2, then, then f of 2 is equal to 4, right? What if I did negative x? That means f of x would equal negative 2. That answer is also 4. So it doesn't matter if it's x or negative x, we get the exact same result. So what this is showing is if f of x is this, and f of negative x is the exact same expression. It doesn't matter what numbers I plug in, they're going to give you the same values, right? So that is showing the symmetry of the function. You don't need to know what the graph looks like. You just need to understand if you plug in f of negative x and you get the exact same function back, the function is even. Okay. Now the next one is, um, now the next one is a polynomial.